Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas and today I'm going to be showing you a really cool draw mask effect tutorial that you can do in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it. So as you can see already, I was really inspired by Future's new documentary and there was a specific scene in there where he was coming out the car, Future Hendrix, and then Right here, you can see it transitioned to another scene. I was like, this is cool. I learned it literally two days ago, and I was like, you know what? Let me make a tutorial so I can show step-by-step step for anybody who's wondering on how to achieve this effect. I shot my clip right here at 60 frames a second. I would recommend you shoot at 60 frames so it will be a little bit more buttery. You're gonna wanna record a scene where it's revealing something. So in Future's documentary, it was a, a palm tree and it was going through. In this scene, shouts out to Coach Rock, I used a little, I don't know what that's called, a pillar. I'm revealing something as well. You're gonna have to have this type of scene in order to achieve the tutorial. And then you have whatever scene you want. Me, I got a clip of me in a suit, in my chopper suit. So that's what I'm gonna transition to. You guys can get crafty. Now, hold up, let me do a quick color grade real quick. What I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna slow this down. So I'm gonna add some slow motion to it. There we go. And we wanna pinpoint where, okay, so you see over here, this is where the transition would happen. I'm gonna use the M on the keyboard to mark it, and I'm gonna place the scene it's transitioning to below. And once I do that, we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna go under mask, and we're gonna place a draw mask on the top scene right here, on the, tra on the slow motion scene. Now it doesn't have to be 60 frames. I think it looks better. I'm gonna hide that, because I wanna be all focused on this right here. And we're gonna click that, and we're gonna outline with this pen tool right here. And we're gonna make like a square. Come over here. We're gonna make like a square. We come over here to draw mask and we're gonna invert it. I like to add a feather. It makes it look a little bit more buttery. Like I can't believe it's not butter. I usually do 16, 17, 18. I'll do a 16 here. Now we're gonna keyframe. This is very important. So you guys see transforms right here. We're gonna click our mouse, right click, and we're gonna add, and this is gonna add a keyframe for that. And you guys can see when they're yellow, the keyframe has been added. Also, we're gonna wanna add a keyframe on this feather part. So if you hover, over this, you're gonna see the plus sign. We're gonna click that. Now you see on the right hand over here, we got four yellow diamonds lit up. Now it's time to work, let's work. We're gonna literally go where our marker is, right here, and we're gonna use our keyboard and we're gonna arrow right, boom. And we're gonna move this accordingly so it fills up. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit and hit the right again, and we're gonna slide this over, hit right again, slide it over, and we're literally moving this across frame by frame. I'm gonna speed this up. Now when we get here, we're gonna have to extend it out. So grab your point, extend it out, grab this control point, grab your mouse and extend it out. Same thing, right arrow, mouse slide. Right arrow, mouse slide. Right arrow, mouse slide. I'm gonna add point, so some I can't see where it's at, so I'm gonna right click, add a point, and we're just gonna drag that out. Boom, then we got it, easy peasy. Now we come to the front of it, hit play. Oh, look at that, seamless transition. 
and that's how you do the draw mask effect whatever it's been called a lot of different things i know sometimes keyframing could be very very confusing but i hope this tutorial made it very easy for you guys it's an awesome transition to spice up any of your videos especially vlogs i hope this tutorial helped you out and if it did, please smash that like button. If you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, vlogs, unboxings, reviews, and video business strategies, hit the red button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.